Hi everybody, it's Wendy Hackney Basin again, and today I want to show you a page that I'm going to enter into the a la carte um, website challenge for the month. And I'll put a link up on the bottom of the screen so that if you'd like to join the challenge, you can. Um, this is not my blog, it's someone else's blog. I don't know what the girl's name is even. Um, I'm sure there's more information on the page. But uh, I'll put that link up so that you can go there and check out her blog if you'd like. I love the blog, and this is my first time entering in the challenge, so hopefully we'll win. Um, I'm going to show you a few details of the page that I think are worth sharing with you. First off, one of the part of, one part of the challenge that she had was that you needed to use a piece of fabric and. I didn't have anywhere on the page I wanted to use fabric. I don't like fabric. I used to be a quilter, and um, so I don't like to, you know, use fabric on my pages because I just, I'm into the scrapbook paper. So anyway, I use this piece of fabric, and it doesn't matter, you know, what, it, what shape it is because you're just going to roll it up anyway. And I made this stem by rolling this up into a little strip. And then I used my Tim Holtz mini stapler that I absolutely love. Uh, it's one of those things I use every time I make a scrapbook page now. And so I used that to make this stem, which gave me my fabric qualification. And then she says that you need to use a piece of um, wood grain. So I had a piece of paper, which I've already used now, and I cut it down to 8.5 by 11 and used it through my regular printer and printed my journaling and my title um, on that piece of wood grain paper. Now, um, this page says, little boy, where do you get your britches? And the journaling is, this is your very first pair of big boy jeans. You grew out of toddler sizes, and when I got this pair today, it made me cry. I love you so much, and you will always be this little boy to me, no matter how big your britches are. And one of the requirements was that you use a lyric from a um, song in your title. So, um... I'm sure Little Boy Where'd You Get Your Britches doesn't sound like a song. So what I did was I went to the internet on my new droid phone and I used an application that is called iMusic and I searched for britches and amazingly enough it came up with Little Boy Where'd You Get Your Britches um, as an actual song. So I'm going to play just a little. So I thought that was adorable. Um, it, it is a song. <laughs> I'm sure when the lady who has the competition sees this, she's going to think, oh, that's not a song, but it really is. Um, okay, and the next thing I want to show you is the butterfly. And the butterfly, of course, is done with my template from Hot Off the Press, and oh, this year you can see it better. It's called 15 Butterflies and Dragonflies. It just recently came out, and it's by Wendy Hackney Based, and which is me. It's available online at paperwishes.com or Home Shopping Network. And hopefully soon it'll be available in Michael's or Hobby Lobby or one of the, you know, large retail stores. Um, and so I use that. Part of the, the challenge for the page was that you use a toilet paper roll. So I have a toilet paper roll here, and it was pretty ugly. So what I did was I ran it through my cattle bug um, inside of one of these little folders that comes with, and then I used orange and brown ink and just, you know, kind of rubbed it up 
orange and brown ink was a requirement of the package. And then I laid down my template from hot off the press and, you know, drew out the butterfly and then once I, and the leaves. And then once I had those, I just used my paper scraper on the edges and, um, you know, roughed up the edges of the butterfly. And then I figured out I'm always wanting some sort of antennas for my butterflies. And so I figured on, on the template, they have a little place here where you can, you know, use a marker and mark right on your page. But I like mine to be dimensional. So I figured today, this great way to get antennas, if you pop these flowers off of these little buds that you, you know, get like at Walmart or whatever, and you get a big bunch of them, if you pop the flowers off, you can use the flowers on another page. Um, but it leaves you with these little stems. And so I kind of just clip off, you know, some of the extra so that it's a straight piece. And then chop that off of the little cluster. And you end up with these two cute little antennas for your butterflies. Which I think are absolutely adorable. So you just take that, put a little glob of some kind of glue. I put a pop dot back there and just stuck that down inside. And you end up with these perfect little antennas for your page. So, requirements for the page were that you have a song lyric in the title, that you have a winged thing of some sort, which was perfect for my butterfly, that you have a piece of fabric, and that you use the wood grain. So, this is my page. I'm going to enter into the a la carte um, blog challenge for the month of December, and I'll let you know how I do.